हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू त्रिगुमा एकेडमी आई एम साकेत मिश्रा वेलकम सी ऑल टुडे वी आर हियर टू स्टार्ट अ एच आर एस डी सर्विस ना एच आर एस डी सीरीज इट्स अ लॉन्ग अवेटेड सीरीज एंड आई अपोलॉजाइज फॉर द डिले बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट फीलिंग वेल फ्रॉम लास्ट मंथ सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द सर्विस नाउ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स सर्विस डिलीवरी सीरीज I will try to take a three or four sessions in an entire week. So the total number of uh, videos, total number of lecture will be around 18 to 20 lecture. We will cover the human resource service delivery in this lesson. In this uh, series, we will teach all aspect of the human service delivery with the life scenarios. How the HR SD, you know, perform. How the HR SD will help. to organizations to achieve and to automate the hr sd i mean the human resource processes okay how to automate the hr process processes in any organization okay so let's quickly start so as you can see the heading of uh, today session is the learn service now human resource service delivery hr sd by trikoma academy Trib if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel this is the free open learning platform which provide the all knowledge free of cost with respect to the service now so please hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel share with your colleagues okay so let's start so our agenda for this series will be divided some chapter you can consider as a chapter like service now what is service now hr sd what is hr case management what is hr profile hr integration HR administration, HR dashboard and reporting, life cycle event of the HR SD, okay, HR groups and roles, what is HR skills, HR case table, HR criteria, HR services, HR services configuration, how we can configure the HR services, HR services portal, HR knowledge management, and finally HR survey. And each of the chapter end of the lecture, we will demonstrate the things how it will work. what is the necessary how you know it is working for any organization okay so if you if you have any question with respect to the hrsd with respect to the any lecture you can comment on the uh, video or try to reach out my email address i will try i mean i will try my best to provide you the answer okay so we will as i told you we will cover approximately 18 20 lectures this is the ongoing series which will help you a lot to learn the service now those guys who are interested to learn the hrsd of service now can watch this video and share with your colleagues who are interested for the same okay so let's quickly start so what is service now hrsd service now hrsd when i am saying hrsd that means human resource service delivery okay hrsd is the application of the service now or we can say the module of the service now service now is the entire platform which contain the various uh, applications various modules like uh, hrsd itbm csm in this particular series we will just focus on the human resource service delivery application or module of the service now okay so when i am saying hrsd that means human resource service delivery so what is service now hrsd so service now service now hr service delivery providing employees with a single place to manage their work needs while shielding from them from work and complexity you can deliver a great experience to meet the demand of a modern day workforce okay and service now hrsd also help the hr professionals or the hr team and employees by automating the routine task and help hr to deliver the services to their employee in a timely manner and a professional manner or service now human resource delivery is used by the employee and the hr professional throughout the organization how it is working now this is the proper definition but i will tell you how the practical scenarios it is it will work okay so suppose that there is a process to hire to the retire of a employee if someone is hired someone is hired by an organization the that person there is a certain procedure like they need to generate a offer letter they need to verify their background verification they need to take a bank employment details so lot of activities are there so what happen currently hr uh, team is do, doing it manually by managing the document manually generating the offer letter manual process so instead of that we will 
use the service now human uh, i mean the service now hr sd which will automate the all of the things we do not need to write a, a separate letter we just create a service now ticket and the human resource hr case that will automatically will build up the functionality that will automatically create a offer letter okay through the template we will learn how it will work but this is the main agenda and this is for the organization perspective right now we will discuss about the employee perspective how it will help the employee for the hrsd like uh, any new employee is join the organization he he is no uh, he is not much aware about the environment of the organization he doesn't know how to you know get the laptop how to you know uh, get the mobile phone or how to resolve my queries you know uh, like like uh, the employee is joined and he want to know the query about the insurance okay he he, he just he is interested to uh like he has a some uh, he is facing some issue in the laptop then how to fix it so all of all of uh, such type of hr related queries the employee can just handle through the portal he just go to the service now hr portal just raise a ticket and the particular appropriate team is will handle that ticket and resolve the thing in a appropriate manner or a proper manner so this is the main use of uh, uh, the uh, service now hr by the employee as well so the service now hrsd will automate the process from the organization perspective as well and the employee perspective as well so it is very very important applications for any organizations and employee to run their business smoothly i hope uh, now it is clear to you what is the exact use of the hrsd so let's quickly jump to the another slide hrsd for whom okay so as i told you as service now hr delivery is used by the employees and the hr professional throughout the organization both both are impacted with this and both can utilize the functionality of the hr as well as employees and the hr professional suppose that a one organization has a thousand of employees so it's very difficult to manage their data you know from uh, you know from uh, like uh, in hiring to the retirement it's very difficult to handle them manually so it's very very helpful for the hr professional or the any hr uh, team for an organization and employees as well employees do not need to you know visit every time as they they just need to go to the portal and uh, request for anything uh, and ask for anything so that will be very helpful for both of uh, the perspective employees as well and hr professionals as well okay so who can use this the purpose i mentioned in the slide employees uses employee service center to raise a case search is kb kb stand for knowledge okay and uh, for answer kb for answer okay so employees normally what they are going they just go to the employee service center raise a case i mean uh, they can ask the query they can or if, if they are facing an issue they can raise a case through there suppose that an employee has a deduction in their salary they do not need to go to the direct actually hey i am facing this it's very difficult to hr as well uh to answer in a such way because the thousand of employees are working so what you just need to do you just raise a ticket and that ticket redirect to the payroll team and payroll team will contact you and try to resolve your issue so that is very important for the employees as well hr professionals those professionals who are working in the hr hr uh, hr department definitely work on the hr cases like benefits payroll employment anything so it's very helpful for the hr professionals it is very uh, important and uh, utilized by the other departments like work on non hr task related to like a grant access to the system okay uh, uh, it is uh, related to the some some legal team as well so it is important for the other departments as well like a payroll team or the legal team okay and the that is most important for the leadership as well to make a strategic decisions based on the hr and with respect to the hr so most of these four uh, uh, four uh, four departments or you can say the four uh, people uh, can use the hrsd okay the first one the employees definitely they are impacted from and uh, from uh, they are impacted from this hrsd automation solution that will be very helpful for the employees definitely hr professional as well the primary one employee and hr professional they are also automate the functionality of the other departments like a payroll department legal department interviewer and the people services department okay and it is also the most important and the give the overview strategic uh, view overview of the uh, leadership team for the hr so it is very important for these i will share you the slide as well for your reference 
that will give you the better understanding to revise the uh, content okay now we will go ahead so how can we start the hrsd core components i mean uh, what are the core component of the hrsd so uh, there are uh, four core components for the hrsd okay and each uh, com components means the plugins or the modules okay a plugin component i i can consider as a plugin because service now do not have a default installation of hrsd hrsd need a spe special plugin installation after that HR uh, HR uh, applications HR modules will be visible to your instance. Okay, so uh, which uh, plugin needs to be installed? I mentioned here, and I am saying these are the component which needed to uh, start the HRSD practice. Okay, so these are the four modules: HR Core, HR Service Portal, HR Lifecycle Event, and HR Integration. These are the four applications or four modules, and this is the plugin name I mentioned in this table. Like com dot sn underscore hr underscore core. This is the core plugin which is related to the case and the knowledge management. Okay, so after the installation of this plugin, case and knowledge hr case and knowledge management application will be visible to your instance. Second is the hr service portal. The plugin name is com dot sn underscore hr underscore service underscore portal, which is related to the employee service center for employee to raise a case. Okay, and the life cycle event. Third plugin is the HR underscore lifecycle underscore events, which handle the multiple activities with the multiple departments in a sequence like onboarding, offboarding, any other type of uh, sequence we can handle through the life cycles. Okay, we will also learn in a day what is life cycle events, how can we generate the life cycle events in a separate lecture, but uh, this is just for the reference. Okay, and the fourth one and the last one is the integration. The, the integration plugin name is com.sn underscore hr underscore integration so you can directly search down and install this plugin through your personal development is not just copy and paste this okay make integration between the service now and the third party hr system to get a learning programs from the workplace suppose that uh, we want to integrate our service now human resource service delivery with a success factor or any other uh, human resource uh, third party application then this plugin is very useful to uh, provide the integration with the service now system and the uh, service now and the other third party application okay so these are the main component which we discussed so if you want to uh, start the human resource service delivery application practice you just go to your personal development instance and install these plugins after that your HRSG applications will be visible in your navigation bar. After that, you can start the practice for those. Okay. Okay. Let's go for the next one. What is the use of the HRSG in modern day workflows? In the modern day activities, what is the exact use of the human resource service delivery to meet a great experience in demand of a modern day workforce? Okay. So I am trying to explain through this. Uh, uh chart okay so pre-hire suppose that the person is a pre-hire then onboarding the person is needed an international travel then a new child laptop upgrade promotion relocation payroll issue leave of absence offboarding alumni any type of a query any type of request if we want to take a help then we can raise a request for these all, all of uh, these 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 are just for example we can it's totally depending upon organization to organization to fulfill the demand of the organization okay i am just explaining here these are the basic things like pre hire that means if we are hiring someone there are a pre hiring requisite that means there are some task which we need to perform before hiring the employee like the background verification employee 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 police verifications and the uh, employee document verification so such type of task we can hire under the pre hiring request onboarding after the onboarding we have a uh, some task like knowledge transfer or or, or like a issue issue a, a issue a company kit company kit including a laptop charger headphone so it is containing the onboarding okay international travel suppose that someone is hired for the traveling profile like a marketing road domain he needs to be travel internationally so we are handling the visa process we are handling the cost management each and everything we will handle related to the expenses in under in the international travel and we have a child policy someone is you know asking for the maternity leave paternity leave then we will uh, for the new child and we ensure that new child then we will handle such type of task under the new child 
laptop upgrade like we are facing some issue and we want to upgrade our laptop so we do not do not need to go you know to the hr they hey we need a laptop upgrade no we just go to the portal raise a ticket they we, we want a laptop upgrade and we give a proper justification to the team and they will uh, review your request and definitely if it is required they will accept or reject the request it's solely depending upon the your request okay like a promotion we will uh, you know handle the promotion related activities we can had a relocation activities we have a payroll issues as well so the the sense of this uh, uh, the the picture is this we can handle any type of any type of process in human resource service dev which will help to the employee to resolve the issue and automate uh, the basic or manual uh, things okay okay so now next slide is the service now hrsd feature what are the main feature of the service now hrsd so i have i have tried to explain some of the major feature of the human resource service delivery which has a great feature to help the organization and employee to automate and centralize the hr services at one place these are the few i have highlighted and bold the text so these are the uh, some features so we will go one by one okay the first one is streamline and automate activities to reopen workplace after an emergency okay second is streamline and automate activities in in the face of an emergency make it easy for employees to get hr services organize employees interaction by functional discipline use hr services to build a great experience employ focus services creates competitive advantage streamline and automate activities in the face of emergencies make it easy for the employee to get a hr service i am just reading if i will go one by one it's very difficult to you know to uh, share you but i will give you an overview okay it i will give you an overview to control this okay so it will provide the these type of help in the service now it definitely it is helping to the employees to get the hr service definitely it will help streamline the automate activities to reopen workplaces after an emergency definitely so it is just uh, uh, it is uh, expressing the features what are the main features of the hr as we have a lot features i am just for the reference sharing some of the points here okay now we are covering service now hr services what is service now hr services okay service now hr services can integrate with existing hr management system hrsm okay identify provider background check e signature tax form any other service which we can offer to the employee to improve the operational efficiency we can provide okay it's totally depending upon the organization to organization okay what services they want to offer to their employees like okay and you can simply any process by using a intelligent and automated answer to guide the employees i have mentioned few services which is very common for every organizations and every organization is using uh, those services like uh, i uh, these are the few services i am a employee okay i am just uh, the i am a employee okay and i want to book a conference room for a meeting so i i do not need to uh, go anywhere i just uh, raise the there is a service portal i visit the service portal and book a conference room directly no need to any physical activity i will just go there and uh, that room is booked for me okay like a new hire onboarding need a new laptop compensation adjustment disciplinary issue promotion need a new desk if i i am interested to shift it for a new desk definitely i can request a nda update okay non disclosure agreement update need a corporate credit card parental leave of absence update my emergency contact payroll issue need to reset my password medical benefit any type of hr services which we our organization is offer to the employee so i am again repeating it's totally depending upon the organization how many services they want to offer their employee okay so it's vary upon organization to organization okay now uh, we will discuss employee interaction by functional discipline so uh, what is functional discipline and the employee interaction so we will go uh, the definition human resource service now hrsd manage employee interaction in a structured and efficient manner driving down 
द कॉस्ट ऑफ सर्विस डिलीवरी ऑफ पर्पज बिल्ड सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस डेटा मॉडल ऑर्गेनाइज एच आर डेटा सर्विस एंड द प्रोसेस इज बाई फंक्शनल डिसिप्लिन ओके इनेबलिंग यू टू सपोर्ट ऑल टाइप ऑफ इम्प्लॉय रिक्वेस्ट यू कैन डिलीवर द इंटेलिजेंस बिहाइंड एवरी इंटरेक्शन विद वर्चुअल एजेंट ओके सो दिस इज द पिक्चर दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ द यू नो सी ओ ई स्ट्रक्चर हाउ द डिसिप्लिन वी कैन हाउ द फंक्शनल डिसिप्लिन विल हेल्प अस टू एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू डिवाइड द टास्क एंड टू चेक द ऑपरेशनल एक्टिविटीज बाई द डिपार्टमेंटल साइड और द कॉन्सेप्ट coe in short we we will say the center of excellence is coe structure this is the main beauty of the uh, human resource service now delivery okay hrsg this is the main beauty i am again repeating this is the main beauty of the service now hrsg center of excellence it is contain the topic details it is contain the category which category and which uh, coe are, we are enable for our organizations okay so it's the i'm again employ interaction in a structured and efficient manner structured means we are structuring the data like if the case is related to the employee relation it will go to the discipline uh, hr employee relation coe if the case is related to the payroll then it will go to the hr payroll coe if the case is related to the hr life cycle event then it will go to the hr life cycle event if the case is related to the hr it operations then it will go to the it operations and similar like this if the case is related to the total rewards or the promotion level or a reward level then it will go to the total reward so we have a number of coe and we can also create the manual coe as per our requirement but the service now provided the enough coe to handle the task in a structured and the efficient efficient manner okay so in that case in that case if uh, it is very easy like uh, we we have a requirement after one year organization a ceo uh, the the ceo ceo of any organization want to know how many payroll payroll issues we have in an entire year we can easily go to the hr payroll ceo and find out the data and fetch the report if uh, it manager or it director want to see how many hr it operations related issue we have simply we can do it so the the the, uh, the the purpose of this employee interaction by functional discipline that means we are managing the employee interaction data i mean the employee interaction in a structured and the efficient manner to handle the hrsd problem hrsd uh, delivery and we can also handle the cost of the service delivery okay let's uh, start go to the next slide okay so hrsd build and deliver what we can build and what we can deliver to our uh, the the end users okay so hrsd replace manual and siloed process with a cross functional digital workflow for increased efficiency you can you can orchestrate activities across system departments and people intelligent no code builders such as the life cycle event builder enable you to easily configure digital workflow okay config to easily configure digital workflow for onboarding and other important life event and employee get always on assistant from virtual agent that speak their language and learn from the previous request so guys virtual agent is a different topic we will cover how to help us but for now i will explain what is virtual agent virtual agent is the bot similar like a bot it will provide the basic relief i mean the basic answer of your query so that at least you should appear the basic things okay and you can ask her for an agent and that will also help you to connect the concerned department or the concerned people okay this is a, a system generated bot okay so here the graph i have uh, put it a one picture how the employee is interacting with it how the employee is interacting with the hr how the employee is interacting with the facilities how the interacting with the finance and the legal so each these are the coe has a different different services like can't send email need to reset my password need a new laptop so we in the hr we have find an hr policy change my address update my emergency contact so we have everything so we i mean uh, different different coe like a facility we have a, we want to book a conference room uh, we we need a office need a office moved okay in the finance we have a payroll issues and we need a corporate credit card so everything in the legal we have nda bid compensation adjustment so we can handle and uh, automate such type of hr services through the hrsg portal okay so guys thank you
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग नाउ वी विल गो टू द डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन पार्ट ऑफ द सर्विस नाउ एच आर एस डी हाउ वी विल सी द डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ओके सो गाइज यू कैन सी दिस इज माई पर्सनल डेवलपमेंट इंस्टेंस आई एम रिलोडिंग इट इफ यू स्टिल नॉट क्रिएटेड योर पर्सनल डेवलपमेंट इंस्टेंस काइंडली रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ फॉर द सर्विस नॉ प्लेटफॉर्म सर्विस नॉट डेवलपर वेबसाइट एंड रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द पर्सनल डेवलपमेंट इंस्टेंस पी डी आई विच इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फॉर द डेवलपर फॉर द लर्निंग पर्पज ओके सो नाउ आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इन दिस डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन बी वी हैव लर्न द वॉट इज सर्विस नॉ एच आर एस टी वॉट आर द कॉम्पोनेंट वो हाउ द सी ओ ई स्ट्रक्चर इज गोइंग ऑन सो वी विल सी हाउ कैन वी uh install the plugin so that hrsd is visible to you i i mean the hrsd applications is visible to you you once you requested your plugin once you requested your personal development instance you just need to click on the all just pin this and you na you need to click on the search for the plugin okay once you plug in click on the plugin it will redirect you to the applications all applications modules Where you can request a plugin and install the plugin as per your requirement, guys. I am repeating again. This is just for the personal development instance. The procedure for installing the plugin for any organization or the for the any uh, organization instance that is a different. For that we need to go to the high portal. The high portal access for whom like architect level or the the owner of the platform they has a high portal access. They need to request from the high portal and after that they will be able to request or install the plugin so both are the different uh, things like for, this is this i am just here explaining you how to install the plugin for the freshers who are working on the personal development instance and who want to learn uh, the hrsd practice who want to practice the hrsd in the personal development instance okay so it is loading let me i actually i have already uh, installed this plugin and i will show you the plugin installation history as well uh, for uh, your reference i have already installed the plugin my it is loading actually it is very heavy to load my internet is also uh, getting little slow so we need to wait for a couple of minutes then uh, definitely we i can show you something here see yeah thank god it is loaded <laughs> it's little heavy sometimes uh, so when you click uh, on the plugin as i show you you it will redirect to the all application this is the platform or you can consider you can compare with the like a google play store or the the apple play store who using the apple devices okay so this is similar like a service now store uh, in the left side navigator there is uh, uh, filters are available you can apply the filter if you want uh, according to your condition like some plugins are installed i need to see how many are installed not installed update customization so we can see in the licensing type subscription not required so as i told you service now hrsd does not contain does not contain in by default okay so you need to install so what you need to do after you just go to the service now developer side request for instance open your per this is my personal development instance open the personal development instance go to the navigation bar search for the plugin open the plugins applications and you just write down here human resource sorry i wrote it down wrong by human see i have already installed this case and knowledge management so uh, if i search for the human resource these are the case and manage uh, case and knowledge management plugin if you remember i teach you in the beginning of the slide that we have discussed about the four component right so out of four this is the one of them case and knowledge management so you just need to click on this and if you want to load the demonstration data then you can check this and install i have already installed this except the this one data migration i am not interested for this that's why i didn't install this i will show you if you want to show the history as well it will also visible the history plugin history so this is the plugin history okay yesterday uh, let me show you how i 
so you see if you can see case and knowledge management yesterday i have uh, installed it case and knowledge management case and knowledge management document application emergency temperature performance contact so i have yesterday installed these applications okay so after the installation of this okay you just you just go search the human resource click on the install data and install the plugin okay after the installation when you will go back here and refresh your data and you need to just search the hr so when you search the you will see this hr case management hr profile hr integration hr administration hr dashboard and performance analytics okay so after the installation these applications left side navigator bar these applications will be visible to you what is hr case management what is hr profile hr integration hr administration we will discuss all of these modules in detail in our upcoming lectures but i am just telling you how can we request a personal development instance how can we install the plugins to enabling the hrsd on our personal development instance is that clear and i hope it is clear to you okay so uh, we have uh, i i have just set in my favorite so i just do not need to go every time in to search the navigator bar i just set for the my favorite so i will show here see all of the things are visible here okay so hr case management under the hr case management we have everything hr cases open cases all cases each and everything we will discuss in our upcoming lecture till now please register yourself for the service now developer site just go ahead and register yourself request for the personal development instance and install the hrsd plugin for the practice and guys believe me we will do complete hrsd training free of cost entire service now Uh, entire uh, human resource service not delivery training free of cost that will help you a lot uh, for your you know career enhancement to career grow or to to grow your career okay so uh, that's all uh, for today perspective and uh, if you still not uh, subscribe my channel i would request you please subscribe my channel and share with your colleagues and uh, i am again uh i am again saying that trigumukh trigumukh academy is the venture which which provide the uh, open education uh, to to technology field to all of the and we are also trying our best to deliver what we can uh, it's totally free of cost we are not uh, we are not charging for anything like uh, such hrst delivery videos so we are planning to take a one step in term of the knowledge uh, that we can provide the <coughs> and we can provide the uh free of cost training and uh, that will be free of cost series and next uh, 10 days we will cover all of the things okay so uh thank you so much and uh, please subscribe my channel and share my channel with your colleagues and uh, and and happy learning thank you guys